So as you can see behind me, the solar panel system is fully constructed. A solar electric system recently installed atop the Avenue Garage is among the largest municipal arrays in Illinois and the largest garage mounted system in the state. An innovative mounting system of 50 tons of galvanized steel and extruded aluminum rails allows the array to seamlessly integrate with the garage structure. The operation of the system is simple and automatic. The solar modules convert usable sunlight into clean, renewable electricity. Each module is comprised of several cells wired together in series. When sunlight strikes the modules, electrons embedded in the cells generate an electric current. Wires from the modules carry the electricity into the garage where it passes through 12 inverters. The inverters change the electricity from direct current to alternating current and deliver it to the garage's main electrical panel, making the power immediately available. The beginning of this project really was about the board deciding at a policy level to invest in renewable energy. Shortly thereafter, the Planet Green vision planning process started with Oak Park and River Forest and investment in renewable energy was also identified as a priority for the community. The project was funded primarily by a grant from the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity with funds from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. That was a 75% grant for the entire project and both the state and the region understand that we have the willpower to really invest in what we believe in. Oak Park expects to recover its investment in 10 to 12 years, a period that may be reduced further from the sale of carbon offsets as marketable assets. What it is is a 99 kilowatt solar panel system. It will offset between 20 and 30 percent of the garage's electricity use. It will also create about 130 solar renewable energy credits, which can be sold on the open market each year. When the array generates more power than the garage needs, the energy is fed back into the grid for credit from ComEd. We'll get our best performance on a cold day, so which is kind of contrary to what a lot of people think. Why is that? The electrons, they just flow more smoothly. On a hot day, you know, there's, you know, the wires heat up and, and there's just a little bit more resistance to that, that flow. So a nice cold day in the winter, you're going to see maximum power. We get a lot of those. So yeah. It's really good. One of the challenges about getting the solar panel system up was the crane work. But cranes work under very specific weather conditions, specifically no wind. And February and March when we were constructing was a very windy time for Chicago, as it usually is. But we found a Sunday in which the wind was below 10 miles per hour. They did it within about 8 to 10 hours. And the crane work was really incredible to watch. It creates this lesson for school kids as well as the community about how we can actually take practical renewable energy and incorporate it into our everyday lives. People are going to be using this array. They're going to be parking underneath it every single day. And I think that's probably my favorite part of this project. It won't be on some roof that they uh, can only look at from afar. They will be interacting with it and they'll really be getting all the benefits out of it. A web-based remote monitoring system will allow the public and the village to obtain real-time information about their array's performance as information is captured from a dedicated weather station installed as part of the system. Each year of operation, the solar array will help protect the local environment by preventing the release of 76 tons of CO2 while eliminating an estimated 440 pounds of nitric oxide and 1,100 pounds of acid rain forming sulfates. Officials say this pollution offset is roughly the equivalent of planting 38 acres of trees every year. A lot of residents take pride in place in, in a project like this and also in seeing a policy come to fruition. For more information on the project, email sustainability at oakpark.us.